So this, this is 450. 450 is the legal address here, King Street. Uh, sometime before Christmas, this uh, truck from Maryland pulls up with a back bed full of furniture that was getting snowed on. Next thing you know, the furniture's sitting on the porch. People moved in. I turned them into the borough, but I don't think anybody's ever done a thing to come and see if they've been inspected or if there's a rental registration. If there is, this is a crying shame. This is 448 King Street. Ever since Matt Krause has owned the building, it's had this, oh, whatever it is, wrapped around the electrical cords up here. I have no clue how safe that can be. Looks like there's some knob and tube going on up there. House has not been inspected. I went up and checked the records, no inspection. People living there, no inspection, no rental license. Work is going on in the house. The van hides behind the house. So, doing his best to stay out of the way. Doing his best to hide from the borough. He's working on weekends. And I mean, this is a freebie here. I'm, I'm, I'm putting this up as a freebie. Heads up borough people. Freebie on the way. He wouldn't even let me put a word in to find out why it was only an hour and a half and why Mark Topol would not let us in the property prior to it because I took the time out to come over here and walk all the way from Motel 6 up here so this wouldn't have occurred and it would have been all arranged in one room and we could have got it all out in an hour and a half if they would have been receptive to our conversations but Mark Topol did not relay anything he put it out there like I was going to get a key and he, we were going to get a lockbox and he was going to be here and available. It will be open and available for you to come in at any time to get your stuff. Just that as long as we were here, he had to stay here with us. Well, he wasn't going to stay on the property. There's no way. No way would he come on this property and stay here if we were going to be here for four hours. So it was fictitious. It was a fictitious statement on his part. And then to come here today and deny that he allowed me in here for 15 minutes and I wasn't even allowed to go up to Sue's room to see what was going on. We had a quick conversation in 15 minutes and he didn't have time to stay here. That's not availability to remove your property out of any property. I've never been treated so horrible in my life. And my Ooh. stuff is actually thrown outside like it's trash. So, and now you have to sit and wait. Now I have my girlfriend out here that looks like death because she's a bone marrow failure and uh she, she i don't know what i'm gonna do because i'm gonna have to put all this stuff into the thing i mean wendy told me to go down and get her up from clusters to help but um who knows She's, she's in a horrible condition. She was in no shape to, uh, informed to come up here today to move stuff out, and they would not cooperate with us to come in here anytime sooner. And she's having treatment for bone marrow failure, failure, yeah. chemo treatments, chemo treatments, and she needs blood, and she hasn't had a chance to get any blood in her, and they haven't been able to match it. Is what the problem really is. We can't get a donor in, and then her body's not accepting it. And then they were the land, new landlord here, and, and the previous the, landlord. Which who was the was previous me. landlord? Ed Mitchell was a previous landlord, which he didn't cooperate with us. And, and knowing that we didn't have a vehicle to come here to get this stuff. And then uh, Alyssa Levin would not even accept any information when I spoke to her yesterday, giving us a timeline. She, she's, has, she's very uncompassionate. In regards to anybody's personal belongings it's all about money and getting another tenant in 
And then and I, uh, how I, does Mark Topol play into this? Mark Topol is a Remax real estate agent. His wife is State Representative Marcy Topol. Oh, uh, Mark Topol was supposed to be the agent that was going to give us access to the property. What she did not give us access to this property. How come she ain't got Section Eight in all these years? Yeah, and um, she's been trying to get on Section Eight, Susan. But Mark Topol wouldn't let us in the house. And I guess uh, Alicia Levin was uh, telling him not to let us in for a reason. I don't know whether it was because of the property that was located inside. Not, not in the appearance that it looks like now. It, it, a lot of it's antiques. Um, Mark? And do you feel that some of your things have, are missing? I know a, several things are missing. Fans. Uh, a gravity chair that was very expensive that I gave to Susan because of her health condition. Did you get the art on the high loan? Um, no, I don't know whether I got the. Uh, it was by the uh, side of the desk. Did you walk back that way? I will not call your phone. I'm not that type of woman. I'm going to be 48 years old. I would not ruin your career. And I won't even ask for you. Because I'm going to take it out after. I'm going to put it in a. Take it off so they can bump it by accident. Oh, on the web, on the web. Oh, uh -huh. I think I Okay. All of their possessions are lying in piles in the back of the house and in the front of the house because there was no cooperation on the part of Mark Topol or Alyssa Levin or frankly Ed Mitchell who strong arm evicted them. There's been no legal eviction. This property has raw sewage in the basement that's being pumped out by the sump pump. It's been that way for a very long time. All of this property, they need to be removed and put back on the wall because it makes it look too ghetto fabulous. Why did this black mailbox belong to California?